The aerospace industry is in a quiet period, largely because the Falcon 9 has been grounded to allow the FAA to investigate a recent incident. Every time this happens, numerous operations are affected. Recently, the European Space Agency, or ESA, an agency outside the U.S., mind you, urged the FAA to resume Falcon 9 operations. The Falcon 9 is incredibly important. So, what exactly happened? Will the FAA make an unexpected decision? And how crucial exactly is the Falcon 9? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As we know, during the recent Crew-9 mission, the Falcon 9 second stage experienced issues that forced it to land outside the planned area. Despite this, the mission's primary goal was still achieved, with the Dragon spacecraft and its two astronauts successfully reaching the ISS. To ensure safety, SpaceX voluntarily paused Falcon 9 operations for inspection, a necessary step to maintain the rocket's reliability. However, what could have been a short delay turned into a longer one when the FAA intervened, initiating a mishap investigation and making the return to flight more challenging. This has affected several upcoming missions, particularly those scheduled for early October. One of the most prominent is the launch of the Hera spacecraft for the European Space Agency, or ESA, set for October 7th. Recognizing the potential delay, ESA has been intensifying its efforts to pressure the FAA. During a briefing on October 2nd, ESA officials confirmed they were finalizing preparations to have Hera ready for its scheduled launch on Falcon 9 at 10.52 Eastern Daylight Savings Time on October 7th. Ian Carnelli, ESA's project manager for the Hera mission, expressed optimism saying, We will be ready to launch. We are basically hoping we get FAA approval by Sunday, October 6th. Carnelli further noted that ESA is prepared to launch Hera as Falcon 9's return to flight mission, rather than waiting for one or more Starlink launches. We're doing all we can. SpaceX is going to submit their report to the FAA by the end of the week, and at that point, we'll be in the hands of the FAA. I hope we can get the green light to move to the pad and launch on Monday. In addition, ESA has extended the launch window through October 27th. Carnelli concluded, The fact that we had a very strict launch window, I think, pushed every single supplier to do their best. It really was an amazing project, and I can only be extremely proud of what we have achieved together. In an announcement on its homepage on September 30th, ESA shared a photo of the Hera team, along with a confirmation. The photo was taken inside the North Integration Cell of the SpaceX Payload Processing Facility located at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Just visible in the background, with red tags placed on its corner thrusters, Hera has now been filled with propellant and, as a next step, awaits encapsulation within its launcher fairing. Despite the FAA delay, ESA is clearly determined to proceed on schedule and there are key reasons why this mission is crucial for them. Firstly, the mission's objective is to survey the asteroid Didymos and its moon Dimorphos. The goal is to assess the impact of NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, on Dimorphos. The DART mission, launched in 2022, collided with Dimorphos to slow its orbit around Didymos. Hera will examine the craters created by DART and collect other data, with the mission set to last six months after Hera's arrival at the asteroid in 2026. The mission's significance lies in its potential to help us determine whether we can protect Earth from asteroid collisions in the future. Secondly, the Hera team has invested significant effort into this mission. Initially overlooking and struggling to secure funding, the team had to cut costs and was further impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. After overcoming these challenges, they are determined to see this mission succeed. Given ESA's commitment, do you think Falcon 9 will return in time for the launch? Respond yes or no in the comment section down below. Then like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue following SpaceX's development journey. Once again, we are reminded of the crucial role SpaceX's Falcon 9 plays in space activities. With such a significant mission as I've highlighted, only Falcon 9 with its high reliability and flexibility can effectively take it on. Interestingly, Falcon 9 wasn't ESA's first choice for the mission. Initially, Russia's Soyuz rocket was selected, but due to political tensions, ESA shifted to Ariane 6, a new rocket developed by the agency and Ariane Group. However, delays with Ariane 6 forced ESA to turn to Falcon 9, just as they had done for the Galileo missions. 
This shift showcases Falcon 9's growing dominance over both domestic and international competitors. While not everyone chooses SpaceX initially, when faced with challenges, many turn to Falcon 9 as a reliable solution. Falcon 9's progress is also remarkable. Having surpassed last year's record of 91 launches, SpaceX is now aiming for 100 launches, and hopes to reach 148 total launches by the year's end. That means over 50 launches in the next three months, a steep goal, but possible for a company with SpaceX's drive and capability. However, not everything is under SpaceX's control. In just three months, the FAA has intervened three times to pause Falcon 9 operations, causing over 20 days of delays, which has significantly impacted progress. It's frustrating to see such a bottleneck in the approval process slowing down not just SpaceX, but also the US and global advancements in space. Meanwhile, many other rockets and spacecraft, despite facing numerous issues, have not encountered the same level of FAA intervention. This raises the question of whether SpaceX is being held back to give other companies an edge. Regardless of these challenges, for SpaceX, Falcon 9 remains a trump card as the company awaits the full awakening of its next generation vehicle, Starship. This will become even more apparent when considering both the FAA's regulatory impact and Starship's current progress. Regarding the FAA, if Falcon 9 can resume operations soon, Starship's return will likely face even greater hurdles. Flight 5 is still delayed until the end of November, pushing back the timeline for Starship's overall development. While it may eventually launch more frequently if the next flights prove successful, it'll likely take a significant amount of time before Starship can launch reliably and serve commercial and governmental customers. In the meantime, the competitive landscape is heating up. New challengers are emerging hoping to capitalize on the delays Starship is facing. United Launch Alliance is accelerating its Vulcan launch schedule, with the CERT-2 mission on October 4th being a critical milestone. Although the flight experienced some issues, Vulcan is still on track to potentially gain military and government payload launch certification. This would open the door to stable operations, with ULA aiming for dozens of Vulcan launches per year. Similarly, Blue Origin is making strides with strong preparations for the debut mission of New Glenn, scheduled for November. This flight is particularly significant, with New Glenn being tasked with launching crucial payloads including Blue Ring and potentially landing on a drone ship. These steps underscore Blue Origin's intention to close the gap with SpaceX. Moreover, Blue Origin has already laid out detailed roadmaps for the coming years, anticipating a substantial increase in launch frequency. For these competitors, the ongoing delays surrounding Starship, compounded by FAA regulatory hurdles, present a prime opportunity to advance their own launch capabilities. This makes Falcon 9 an even more crucial asset for SpaceX to maintain its industry leadership, especially as Starship works toward stability. Falcon 9 has the potential to fend off all challengers. With over 370 launches under its belt, Falcon 9's lead in operational experience is unmatched. Vulcan and New Glenn may take years, perhaps even the better part of this decade, to reach such numbers. In the meantime, Falcon 9 will continue launching at a rapid pace, further widening the gap between SpaceX and its rivals. Launch speed is another area in which Falcon 9 shines. In 2022 and 2023, the rocket achieved 60 and 91 launches respectively, setting records for the most launches in a single year. With three months left in 2024, SpaceX has already broken last year's record and is poised to push it even further. In comparison, Vulcan and New Glenn will require years to even approach these figures. Falcon 9's high launch cadence has also enabled it to set an impressive reuse record, with over 350 successful landings. Individual boosters are reaching remarkable milestones, with one, B-1062, having completed 23 flights. Blue Origin, despite its ambitious plans, still has a long road ahead to match this level of reusability. Meanwhile, Vulcan, as a non-reusable rocket, cannot compete on that front. In the end, Falcon 9's proven track record, reliability, and reusability will continue to be SpaceX's greatest asset, securing its dominance while Starship progresses through its developmental phase. 
That is how SpaceX will maintain its leading position until Starship is allowed to fly and operate stably. In the coming days, we can only hope the Falcon 9 delay will be resolved, allowing the aerospace industry to return to exciting times. Numerous records are still waiting for Falcon 9 to break. Additionally, I look forward to Starship overcoming its current challenges, launching successfully, and combining with Falcon 9 to push beyond existing limits, opening up new frontiers for human exploration. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.